everybody, I'm Matt Brody, and this is Simply Must Go, and today, oh, I'm so excited, because we are back at Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I've got Sue on display here. We've actually got the JK on display as well over at Great Tops, and Sue's trailer is on display with Tiny Camper Company. I'll show you around. We'll see all of that stuff. There's some other vendors here that I really want to share with you. They're super cool, but first, we got to check out the half clean jeep again my buddy aaron's here he's parked right next to me so excited to be here with him let's check this thing out also jessica's here with me for the entire weekend she didn't get to make it last year so this is new to her we're gonna have a great weekend we're gonna do some of the after parties too we'll show you everything you need to know about the smoky mountain jeep invasion This, this Cherokee Jeep is awesome. I love this thing. I want one. Okay. Jessica will never let me get one, but I want one. I really gotta get on building my 110 scale Jurassic Park Jeep. I've got all the parts. I just gotta build it. And I haven't done it yet. I gotta do it. All right, I'm over at the Great Tops booth and you can see the Southlander is back here. She looks a little different. So we took my top off. We put on a Great Tops Overlander top. We got the uh, awning up here. It's sitting on 35s, but, but no lift. But those 35s fit on the Rubicon, just so you know. So looks really cool. The whole back section here opens up, as you can see, so that you have complete access to everything in the back. So we got the set power fridge and the Boulder battery pack. Uh, all running off of a solar panel on the top and the whole idea with this setup is that you can have all of your gear in the back and then have like a bed in the back so if you want to do like in vehicle camping you could do that pretty easily with this setup they've also got some other doors that access uh, with like sliders and they have screens so if you want to do it that way you got a variety of options that you can set this up with but for the show here they've just got it set up this way and I think it's a really cool option that I'd be really interested in if I didn't have to have rear doors to throw kids in to pick them up from school. And of course I've got my new Tyree lights with my ORC mounts on the side here. These things are so awesome. Like they are so bright. They make my brights look like a flashlight. And what's really cool about this is I was talking to the guys. I technically have spaceship parts on my Jeep. Some of these parts are directly from like the SpaceX thing. So I have spaceship parts on my Jeep. And that's really awesome. So my buddy Daniel, who owns Outland Motor Works, was so kind as to, uh, I told him that I had the trailer here, and if he wanted to, he could put a tent on it for the show. So he decided to put a tent on Sue's trailer, and I'll show that to you because it's super cool. All right, so you can see Sue's trailer. Littlefoot is here with a much bigger tent that Outland provided, but look, they put it they made a Jurassic Park version of their logo to put on here and I think that is absolutely awesome but that tent is so much cooler on here with the tan it matches everything a little bit better than the Raptor series did it's also bigger cooler we got the T-Rex in there taking a nap it's a lot of fun a lot of fun people love this stuff I love watching the smiles when people see all this stuff I'm Steve, and with Desert Does It, um, we are a company out of Southern Utah, and we manufacture um, what we call our seat jackers and our uh, multi-mount panels, which is a utility panel that mounts to the front of the seat. A lot of people in Jeeps and Toyotas complain about flat seats, so what our product does is it'll um, lift up the front of the seat by varying degrees to give you that recline, push you back into lumbar, support your legs a little bit more, and just gen generally provide a more comfortable seat. What we call our multi-mount panels that mount to the front of the seat, either, either with 
jacker without seat jackers, and uh, it's just a utility panel to mount, you know, your fire extinguishers, your everyday carry items, um, first aid kits, that, that sort of thing. So yeah, machine and manufacture everything in um, St. George, Utah. So all U.S. made, all U.S. powder coated, and we ship worldwide. All right, it took me a while, but I finally found another YJ that was on display. That's cool. This front grill here is made by Chris Durham Motorsports, which is actually out of South Carolina too. They're not far from me. And I want this front end on the Southlander so bad. I think it would be amazing with sort of the whole retro look I'm going for with the retro Overlander, like to have that front end. It's the, it's the hood and the front grill and I want it so bad. So have you heard of this new thing called YouTube? Never heard of it, what is it? <laughs> Wave. So this is our Freedom Winch line right here. It uh, basically replaces uh, all the metal pieces on your winch line. So you don't have to go find the accessories, all the accessories that you need to do a winch or a pull or any type of uh, scenario. It's right here, it sucks right up into the winch. And we have a soft shackle basically built into the end. And then all the way down the line, they're eight feet, you have these openings. So you can go around a bumper, you can go around a tree, you can go around anything right there, all built in. And it's so much safer than having metal in case something snaps. Right. So. But it's just quick and easy and simple. Sweet. Matt's off-road recovery is using it. He really likes it. But yeah, we're also selling hats, t-shirts, trash bags. Colts here. <laughs> America. America! <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Have a good, good one. Hi, I'm Lowell at Tread Lightly, and we're here at the Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion talking to people about keeping public lands and trails open and accessible because there's so much damage and trash and um, just staying off trail that is ruining trails and closing our public lands. So help join us at Tread Lightly to keep trails and public lands open and accessible. So this is where all your missing Jeep parts have gone, apparently. Hi, I'm Cole with Tyree. Uh, just here to tell you a little bit about our product and everything. We're pretty new to the off-road game, but we've been in business for 30 plus years, uh, supplying the heavy machinery, mining, logging, uh, farming, all that stuff. We are the titans in the OE heavy machinery world. And we're just getting in the off-road world now. Uh, what makes our product a little different is the evolution, really. We come from, like I said, a heavy machinery type of atmosphere, so all of our stuff has to work. It has to work to the utmost standards, and it has to be tested pretty hardcore. So the stuff we build is all built with you know, heavy aluminum cast uh, housings. We pressure wash rate them. We get down to salt spray. We even get down to the electrical noise, because when you're in mines and stuff like that, you have to be able to communicate. So we make sure these high-powered lights don't give off any electrical noise. Um, something else that makes us a little different, too, is we don't we don't beat around the bush about our output and everything like that. A lot of companies will tell you uh, this hundred thousand uh, lumen number. We tell you what's actually coming out of our housings, the actual working light that you can actually use. And if you can get anybody else to tell you their lumen numbers, you'll find we're very very high. Um, you might recognize some of our lights because we do private label for Jeep and Mopar. They gave us the opportunity to get into the off-road world. So our 1313s and our 1010s, um, you might see on some Jeeps. As well, the AEV 7000 series is actually a Tyree product that uh, AEV adds a little more bling to and makes it their own. So we're out there in the off-road space, it's just getting our own name out there. If you guys are looking for Tyree, you can find us on Instagram at, at Tyree underscore lights. Uh, our website is Tyree.com. And we also sell lights through foxtaillights.com. So hey guys, uh, Jonathan here uh, with BF Goodrich Tires. We got Adam Caldwell, BF Goodrich hey. Tires here as well. Uh, Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion 2022. Um, we're out here showcasing uh, BF Goodrich On Trail app. Um, it's an app where you can download and uh, basically go out and check any trails in your area. You can check for trails out uh, across the whole U.S. 
Um, I'm gonna pitch it to Adam here and let, let him tell you a little bit more about what the app has uh, for you. Yeah, so we've got thousands of trails across the U.S. You can download the app for free. It's in the Google Play Store. It's also in the Apple Play Store. There's a free subscription. It gives you access to all the same premium features that we have for $35.99 on the premium side. The only difference is for uh, free, you get five downloads at a time. For premium, unlimited downloads. But as Jonathan said, you can run trails. We've got uh, Get Directions, take you right to the trailhead. And you can also record your trail and upload it for the whole community to see. So when you have a moment, download BFG On Trail, check it out, and go hit the trails. All right, so I have to share a story about the Amber Alert here. She's actually from Lexington, my hometown. I end up on the same road like after work. Like we, I follow her down the road a bunch of times, and so I see it all over the place. And so to see it here also is really funny and cool. The only thing is, you know, She's a Clemson fan, which I totally forgive her for, for having such a rad Jeep. But this is a cool Jeep that I get to see almost every day. This is Moose. You're doing good? You like Jurassic Park? Yeah. There we go. All right. We'll see you later. Thank you. All right, this is Carver, and Carver and his dad have a great YouTube channel. They're in South Carolina with me as well. They've, we've talked back and forth. Carver, tell them how to find you on YouTube. Um, look up Carving Up the Trails, and that's us. That's awesome. Dude, it's so good to meet you. <laughs> Alright guys, I am here with Justin Murray who is the mastermind behind Jeep Invasion. Justin, how's this year going for you? Man, it's going, we're blasting out of the water, man. Blowing out of the park. Well, this has been our biggest opening ever. Man, we got so much information on our website, gsmji.com. Also our Facebook page, Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. Be sure to read our event session. There's plenty of information on that page. Just keep scrolling down, read our posts. Lots of information there. So come next year, come hang out with me, come hang out with Justin. We'll have an awesome time. Hey everybody, my name is Jackson Green. I'm the president of Off-Road Concepts. Now our JL Pro system, which is what this is, uses the four inch light. Now our brackets, which you can see here, start out as a solid block of Billet Aerospace 6061 T6 aluminum. And uh, we try to bring in a lot of the OEM design features of the brackets that Jeep already has on it and bring those into our bracket. These brackets, because they're aluminum and they're anodized, will look like this for the life of the vehicle. If anything on this fades, chips, breaks, or goes bad, it will be replaced. You see a lot of failures in light systems, especially around the harness, because water gets in, dirt gets in, and the system just fails. We use genuine Deutsch connectors, a completely water-sealed, submersible, marine-grade fuse so that no water can get in. The other really nice thing that you're gonna get with us is you're gonna get our switch. It's got a genuine carbon fiber housing, and then the switch itself is a beautiful stainless steel switch, has a really nice touch to it. And instead of drilling a hole, we simply supply the switch with some VHB by 3M on the back. What you're gonna do is just stick this anywhere you feel like on your A-pillar. The wire tucks nicely behind the A-pillar. You don't see any wires hanging out. This harness runs almost entirely inside the firewall of the vehicle. You can go to offroadconcepts.com. Very easy, offroadconcepts, all one word, .com. Hey, so I'm Jonathan at JS Alternators. We're a family-owned business out of Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, we offer the high output alternators, uh, starting at 250 amps all the way up to 400 amps. So we use the latest technologies the, the, the hairpin design, which is a lot more efficient, runs cooler, um, extremely better at idle output, which is really important for whenever you're off-roading, uh, rock crawling, um, even loading up your, your Jeep on the trailer. Um, so this produces all the power. So we offer the dual, dual plate rectifier with um, 80 amp diodes. So it converts that, that power into your batteries and, and running your vehicle. Um, also the dual plate design keeps the alternator running cooler, makes it last longer. Uh, just overall better for the extreme vehicles, just overall better quality. 
Man, Sue has been getting a ton of ducks this week, and I have no idea how many she has. I know not everyone loves the ducks. I love the ducks. I think it's awesome. I think it's an awesome way to support the Jeep community and spread happiness. So anyway, thank you to everyone who gave me a duck. I appreciate each and every one of them. They are awesome. All right, so far Jeep Invasion has been a blast, but it wouldn't be complete without a little after party at Quake and Steak. So the thing to know about Jeep Invasion is every night there's an after party at Quaker Steak and Lube in Pigeon Forge. Tons of people show up, park their Jeeps, put on music, dance, share, have a good time. This is the place to be after Invasion every night, just so you know. I found Littlefoot. If you remember from last year, we found Littlefoot, and I ended up naming my trailer Littlefoot, so I'm so excited to see this Jeep again. Oh man, I just found my new best friend. Check this out. That's awesome, an XJ that's all Jurassic Parked out. It's number 93, so 92, 93. If this works out, we're gonna become best friends. If you're, who, I don't know who you are, but when you see this, leave a comment so we can become best friends. I don't know about all these mall crawlers just showing up all over the place. All right guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. We had an absolutely awesome time at Jeep Invasion this year. Check out how many ducks Sue got. I want you to guess how many, leave them in the comments below. How many ducks did she get? Whoever's closest, I'll send you a free Simply Must Go shirt. How's that? All right, if you like this video, smash the like button, hit subscribe if you haven't, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Peace.